Well, everybody, I'm going to make a short little video for everybody today just because of the fact that if you have this problem on your boat, you might be able to make a little quick, easy little fix and not have to replace your tachometer. If anybody has a tachometer, and, this, <clears throat> and I'm going to say this because of the fact that this is my second boat that I've had this issue with. If you've got a tachometer that's a, what I call a drifter, <laughs> as... <clears throat> The engine is running. As you can see, I've just got some uh, wires. I've got this wired up so that I can actually take this down into the engine room when I'm doing a little carburetor um, uh, mixture adjustment. And I don't have to kind of be having a helper looking up on the helm. That I can actually just have this right there laying on top of the engine. So it's really cool. But anyhow, if you've got a tachometer that has a drifting problem, and I say that because of the fact that the engine's running normal, and then all of a sudden, the needle will just kind of drift up. And it may go at four, five, six, a thousand RPM, but the engine isn't changing any RPM whatsoever, but the gauge is. And then it'll just kind of drift back down and maybe drift back up, and then it may work fine for a while, and then it'll start drifting again. We'll do this because this is the second time I've done this, and it's worked every single time. On the back of a tachometer, not all, but some, especially of the aftermarket style, you've got an adjustment needle right here by my thumb. That black knob this little, has a little pointer that's going to the number eight. That means that we have got this set to run off of a eight cylinder engine. And above that at the top of that black circle is a six for a six cylinder. And then right to the left of that is a 444 cylinder. Simple. Take your screwdriver, put it in there, and just turn it. Turn that knob to 4, to, to 6, to 8, to 4, to 6, to 8, and then back to whatever cylinder engine that you have. And I think what it is, it just gets a little uh, contact uh, corrosion in there. And then after that, guys, it has fixed my tachometer two different times. Now, what's cool about this tachometer here that I have is right here ab above the uh, little green wire there by the G, that little hole right there says C-A-L. That's your calibration port. Inside that is a tiny little standard screwdriver slot. And what you're gonna need is basically uh, a little tool kit for eyeglasses because you've got a little flathead screwdriver and then also a Phillips because it's really small. But you can stick that in there. And if you've got a, uh, a additional tachometer that you can actually put on your engine, down in your engine room and actually pick up the live tack, say it's uh, you know a crankshaft driven or whatever. Some of them are manual, some are electronic, some use a little uh, piece of tape, and some of them you can hook directly to your coil and do the same. But anyhow, what it allows is that you can actually calibrate this tachometer as it gets older and uh, it'll actually give you an updated version on your dash. So that's just something that you can do. You can run your um, tachometer down in, on your engine itself, see what it's reading, come up on your helm and uh, make a slight adjustment with your calibration there. And then that way you've got an accurate reading of your tachometer. So anyhow, just a little short little video. Hope that this can help somebody out there. It's got a tachometer that drifts and uh, it's worked for me two different times, actually three different times because I've done it to two of the gauges here on this uh, boat that I have. And my old boat that I have I only had one engine and uh, it fixed it as well. So hopefully it helps out and uh, you can get your tachometer operating the way it should. So thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps out. And if you want to, if you've ever got a spare little tack, you can hook you up a little, some jumper wires. That way, if you're down in the engine room, you can see what your engine is doing and uh, while you're doing your maintenance. So, so everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to be taking you through on another video of all of the oil changes on these uh, Crusader 318s and uh, getting ready for winter. So thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later. Bye.